So today we are going to see how to use public DNS along with our Route 53 service in AWS. Uh, so as I keep reminding, it is always cheaper to register your domain names with GoDaddy. And if you have already have a domain name like me, as it is shown here, uh, you can go and use it. If not register a domain name, it costs about 100 rupees or less than that, depending upon the domain name you choose. The cheapest ones are uh, around 69 rupees in Indian money, uh, less than a dollar or about a dollar, I can say. So in my account, I already have this domain name arivu.com. So today we are going to use this domain name uh, for pointing it to a route 3 service. So the first step here is to uh, find out the DNS management section where we are going to point it to our AWS DNS servers. So if you log into our GoDaddy, click on your domain name that you want to use and it will be pointing you to the DNS and all other attributes that you can change here. So you see here all this contact information, all this blah, blah, blah details are there. And then if you uh, just give me a moment, use my domain, click on that. And then now not here, domain settings. So yeah, here, if you come here, you have your manager DNS option here. You click on your manager DNS option and then it will ask you to uh, choose whether you want to use a GoDaddy's DNS or any private DNS. Remember yesterday we spoke about all the CNAME, MX record and all those records. It is all default by default configured to GoDaddy domain name, but we wanted uh, to point it to uh, AWS DNS servers. So if you just scroll down to the bottom, you have a name server option. Name servers are nothing but DNS servers. Here you can see it is a GoDaddy DNS server. I need to change it to AWS servers. So for that, click on change and then click on custom. It will ask me to type the DNS name servers. So where do I get this name servers? I go to the route 53 service now. And here, like yesterday, what we did in the our previous videos, as we saw for private DNS, we need to create a hosted zone first. For creating a hosted zone, we are going to use the DNS management option. Click on get started now. Click on create hosted zone. And once we click on create hosted zone, we will be prompted with our domain name. So I'm just going to type our domain name here, areo.com here, and then Alexi route 53 public DNS demo. And I'm just going to choose the public hosted zone and click on create. So once I click on create, I will get the names of our IP addresses or domain names here, which we can take it to our GoDaddy. So you can see here, uh, four name servers that are specific to my account has been created. If I click on this, these are my name server records. Here they are. I'm just copying it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into my uh, GoDaddy account now. So there are four IP addresses. So I'm just going to carefully copy paste it all of them one by one. That is one, that is two. Okay, I'm just ensuring there's no four. So I click on add name server again. And add a name server again. So I'm just ensuring no, no spaces or special characters are there. Leave the dot, not a problem at all. Click on save here. So we have pointed our code at, oh, Okay, we have pointed our uh, GoDaddy uh, domain name to our AWS uh, DNS servers. Now the next step is to create a record set in our uh, Route 53 service so that whenever somebody types in arivu.com in their browser, it can point it to the web server that we have already created. If you go to our EC2 dashboard, we already have a web server running and it has a public IP address with an elastic IP. And if we put it in my browser, we will be able to see that now. So we can see here, that this is my website currently accessible through my IP address. As of now, arivu.com will not be reachable. So we are going to create a record set so that arivu.com will point to this IP address. So click on, go ahead to my route 53 service, click on the record set. And then we are going to have a name record for now and put our IP address here and click on create. 
So if you notice, this is called the apex record because it is not having the www prefix. So what happens if somebody types in www prefix, it won't be routed to this IP address. So what we are going to do is we are going to create an alias record or a CNAME record which will point it to my A record or Apex record. So for that we are going to create another uh, record set which is going to be www.arivu.com and it is going to be a CNAME and for the CNAME I am going to write uh, arivu.com. In other words I am internally rerouting the traffic to arivu.com itself. So click on create. Um, the propagation takes some time. Um, I'm just going to give it a minute so that uh, for the DNS propagation to take into effect and let us check it up after that. It has been a while now the DNS propagation should have taken into effect. So let us go ahead and open the Apex record first and then try it in a different browser. Sometimes I find issues with the Chrome. So in this case I'm using uh, IE. So let us put our Apex record in the browser window and see what happens. So there you go, that is our website accessible from our uh, Apex record. So let us go ahead and try the CNAME as well for the www prefix. So www.arivu.com. So there you go, we are able to browse our websites with uh, the Apex record as well as the CNAME record. So we can do something similar for our static websites also. So let's go ahead and see how to set up a static website and point a domain name to our static website in the next video. Thank you. So in my account, I have set up a static website in this domain name www.arivu.com. I have also set up another bucket which is www.arivu.com. So this bucket should redirect a request to the other bucket so let me just get it yep you have another bucket if I go to static website here properties and static web hosting it's taking a while click on uh, the redirect request and I have redirected all the request to rev.com here so uh, in the other bucket where it says rev.com I have created the static website with all the contents I'm just going to check that now Go to properties, go to static web hosting. You can see here I've just configured it with index.html, error.html. So if I copy paste this in my browser now, it should take me to a page which is uh, having the details. Okay. The reason the images are not showing is that uh, we have not created an images a subdirectory. If we just create an images a subdirectory and then move the image inside that, uh, the images should be visible. It's uh, just that uh, the folder structure is not clear or not rightly set up. Just give me one moment. Let me set that up. Now that I have moved the JPG inside the images folder, if we go ahead and refresh our static website, we should see our image as well that is being served from the static website. So the next step is to go ahead and point our alias records or create a domain record for our static websites in Route 53. So let us go to Route 53. We already have a hosted zone. Let us go ahead and create an alias record for our static website here. So for that, create record set and then we are going to use an alias and we are going to use a CNAME alias because we want the Apex record to be pointed to that but we want to have a let us say static dot .com and point it to an S3 endpoint usually it takes some time for the S3 website endpoints to appear here uh, for the caching and uh, the refreshments to happen so we will have to give it a minute so that it starts appearing here and then we can point our uh, alias records there so we have set up our uh, Apex record to point it to our static website here. As you can see here, the Apex record, if I click on this, it is pointing to a static website. And our S3 static website is also ready. I'm just going to give it a minute for propagation and then go ahead and see there. And the slight difference between the previous setup and now is I just, uh, you won't see the IP address of the server where, uh, from where the web pages are being served. So that is the difference between the EC2 endpoint what we saw earlier and the static endpoint that we are going to see now. So just going to open the new browser window and type in arivu.com. 
there we go as you can see here at the bottom um, earlier we used to see a private IP uh, of the server from which the pages are being served here in this case we are not uh, seeing that IP address in other words our DNS propagation is happening to the S3 static website that we are hosted and if we go ahead and give the www prefix www.ariu.com and presenter, we should be able to go ahead and uh, fetch the website uh, for uh, the, this domain with the www prefix as well. And you can see the redirection happens and automatically the website gets redirected to ariu.com itself. So that is how you set up uh, static websites and uh, point your own route 53 to your static websites as well. Thank you for watching.